What's up, girl gang peeps? Padawans, welcome to the Inner Sanctum. I'm Yoda Guru. Come on in. Sit, stay, relax, put your feet up, grab a couple snacks, have yourself a hot beverage, your choice, your prerogative. My sanctum is your sanctum. And enjoy my reaction to episode 4 of the highly popular series on the Sci Fi Channel um, starring Alan Tudyk called Resident Alien. And this episode is titled Radio Harry. And from my understanding, um, Harry is going to uh, contact his people to stop them from coming to Earth in order to in basically destroy the entire planet. And coming off from last episode, he was able to um, acquire the, the part to build the radio and complete it. And in order to do that, he would have to, um, to seduce uh, Carolyn... Uh, Carlin, um, Kate Hawthorne, the mayor's wife's friend, uh, um, uh, played by Alex Borstein, and uh, the, that whole interaction between the seduction, flirtation between Alex Borstein's character Car Carlin and Harry was hilarious, and um, and unfor and in that episode, we it was all more about girl empowerment, uh, equality, uh, 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 what what seemed like a woke episode. Um, I know probably some people had a problem with it. Uh, for me personally, I, I, I just um, was thoroughly entertained, um, barring the, um, despite whatever um, theme, what it, the theme what it was when it comes to um, um, being woke or stuff like that. But in any case, I'm looking forward to um, uh, getting into this episode and seeing if, it, if, um, if uh, he'll be able to contact those people in time. And before we do, go ahead, if you enjoyed any of my content, whether it be from my Inner Sanctum channel or YG Anime channel for all things anime, the link is right up there. Um, uh, to help support, that, help support that channel as well, um, gain subscribers as you help uh, build my channel as well in subscribership. Um, as of tonight, last night, I've had one more, um, 306, so two, let's see, what's his name? If you are that person, um, Dave Kuzara, that uh, has uh, subscribed to my uh, Inner Sanctum channel, I tip my hat to you, uh, virtual high five, uh, fist hat, and a celebratory Perfect Strangers, Balky Bartokamos, and Coulson and Larry Appleton, um, Dance of Joy. <laughs> Great. Um, now, before we get into it, also, um, when it comes to um, all my full-length reaction videos... Uh, oh, no, 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 no. Before that, I'm getting ahead of myself. Before that, um, if you, like I said, if you enjoyed any of my content for their channel, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, hit that notification bell in order to be notified of any future videos being posted on, on either channel. And now, get into that... Um, uh, full length reaction videos that will be posted to my Patreon and Rumble. Um, the full length reactions, um, you to, you'll be able to sync up with those on your end. And um, and those links, along with my social media links, will be posted underneath this video in the description section. And with that said, let's get into episode four of um, the Sci Fi Channel's hit series, uh, Resident Alien, the episode titled Radio Harry. All right? Let's do this. Let's go. Here we go. I remember everything. Even though I'm not supposed to. There were others in the ship, you know, who were taken. Ah, taken alien abduction. In the galactic orphanage. Going up that way probably felt very alienating. Showed me my mom and dad a few times. Well, I can imagine the complicated feelings you have for them. And all those missed opportunities. It's the missing things, right, Doc? The missing things are what help you heal. Feel like I'm a single thread from blowing away in the wind altogether. Mm. Fortunately, we're out of time this week. Uh oh. I was thinking suspicion he's calling the men in black. <laughs> well, not necessarily that's necessarily black, but they're the government agents to throw me in the van. <laughs> ah, wasn't <it> Hamilton. <laughs> what do you think about the new one? I'm not sure yet. I'll find the truth about There he is. Dr. Ethan. <laughs> Children, a pestilence. 
They are not so much born, but replicate like a virus, <laughs> continuing humanity's path toward destruction. They are just gum stuck to the bottom of your shoe. Hmm. Interesting metaphor. <laughs> Skin bags. <laughs> I have built a radio to tell my people not to come and kill everyone, including you. You can give me my alien ball back. I would, but I gave your ball to my dad. <laughs> he uses it to golf. You golf? Is that dangerous? <laughs> Maybe you can. I changed my mind. I am going to tell my people to save everyone but you. <laughs> you know what I'm going to do to you? Uh -oh. What could you do to me? <laughs> it's funny you're watching her act it out instead of listening to her uh, through the window. <laughs> you are a monster. <laughs> She's a scary Never little girl. Uh, Sahara is. Sick, broken child. <laughs> That's cool. He's building a radio to save us. Not a radio. Hmm. It's a bomb. Hmm. That's a nice hair, Bloom. Next time I'll show you how to do a real break. Just let me know if you want me to have the picture slow it down for you. Take it as slow or as fast as you want to go. Ooh, ooh. A little flirtation going on with the two of them. Throw and pop. Sit in front of us. The fate of everyone on Earth is at stake. She thinks Harry's building a bomb. He's not. When somebody shows you who they are, believe them the first time. Mm. It's pretty deep for someone your age. It's Maya Angelou. Doctor. Hmm. Maya Angelou. <laughs> what else is he pretending to do? Ooh, that's ominous. And that sink in, Asta is. What are you doing? My these hammy humans are finished. I'm going to pick the celestial flowers that grew from the water of my spaceship. Hmm. It's for my radio. What do flowers have to do with your radio? Plants have the most complex biochemistry of anything in nature. Why is she looking at me like that? <laughs> Do I have a booger on the edge of my nose? Is it on my face? You know, I've always really been interested in radios. This one, for instance. Like, how does it actually send a signal across the universe all the way to your planet? In two days at exactly 11.06 a.m., the Earth's axial tilt will be in line with the Mars transit state. Fissure of tellurium will boost the radio signal, bouncing the message off of the radio transmitter, which humans have named Umuramura. And it will send the message to my people. All the way to your planet. Off the radio transmitter. I have to do it at that exact time. Why that exact time? Because Why, the, the conditions will be ideal. And they will not be ideal again for an entire year. And then it will be too late. Why are you squinting at me? Is Why are you asking truth? so many questions? Your last radio ended up being a human death bomb, and you lied that whole time. Well, you just lied to me just now about being interested in radios. Oh, well, they're both lying to each other. <laughs> you know, this tellurium fissure, it goes right through the reservation, so I think that's maybe where we're going to go to set it up. Uh-oh. We. Yes, we. Yes. <laughs> My dad and I are coming just to make sure you're not lying. Uh-oh. <laughs> Supervised trip. There is invited to cook out I like again. being on the <laughs> reservation. It feels comfortable. There is a warmth to it. They must like it too, since they're always together. Big Leroy? Yep. Can't hear you play? Yeah? Yeah, for sure. Uh, hopefully almost here. Little Leroy. Expecting Sorry, little like Leroy. A little fancy dancer. Oh. Are you a Jersey, Harry? Yes. My people prefer it outdoors. Oh, who, who are your people? The Dutch. <laughs> All right. You're that hairy weirdo who came with Dan and Asta. Mm -hmm. You're that... Weirdo who talks to weirdos. Weirdo. So they're both weirdos. Like every time I leave the city and come back to the res, they gotta invite everybody over. It's exhausting. Hmm. I'm exhausted just listening to you. <laughs> I feel like you belong someplace else. Outcast. Yes. Out of place. They dropped some shirts off at the dry cleaners, so they gave me a dress here to get to you. I don't have any dry cleaning. Wait, I've been looking all over for that dress. Did you take it in? Judy Cooper is here to see you. Shh. I think uh -oh. she thinks you're dating because you danced with her. I danced with her. She danced on me. I brought you a cake. <laughs> Store bought. Put your number in my phone. Or... Uh, uh, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. He's brutally honest. <laughs> uh, 
this guy's old school, huh? I'll just give you my number. <laughs> She's putting it on her own head instead of his yeah. head. Okay. <laughs> okay. He is that right. ditzy and stupid yeah, character okay. is. Okay. Is she going? Yeah, <laughs> Got a decent elevation. Most importantly, it's in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Why is that important? I only prefer not to have a lot of people watching when I try to contact an alien race. Hey! <laughs> wait up! Shay's gonna watch the kids so we can come with you. Uh oh, that's oh, not good. I've, I've brought you tacos for lunch. <sighs> tacos <laughs> are the best. Hmm. They're from a new restaurant in Jessup. Mm -hmm. <laughs> really? You were just at a Mayan temple. So you spit out good food just because it comes from Jessup? This is food from he the town that's slandering our town. <laughs> With the a town passion. mayor is slandering us, not the town. Let's go tonight. If you hate it, you can use everything you hate in your commercial. We'll, we'll call it research. Uh oh. Take out the taco from the trash? Uh, well, it's still in the box, though. All right. Uh. Are you guys ready to fish in the morning? If you don't have your rods, you can share mine. Uh, yeah. I think Harry really wants to take a hike in the morning, so we're probably gonna do that. Oh, that sounds so fun. I'll, I'll join you guys. I know a great spot. I, I would let you hang back with me, cuz. I might kind of want to learn how to fish. All right, well, I guess you're stuck with Harry. Yeah. You're welcome. <laughs> what? I'm a hoe. I know about <laughs> hoe shits. Go be a freak in the forest. I won't tell no one. No, Drew, <laughs> Up and around. No, no, that's not... Um... There's an alone time with Harry. Alone time. <laughs> I think people are going to ruin the plan. I took care of them. There's the mountain. And it's going to take a long time to get there from camp. We have to get there at 11.06 a.m. precisely. This is our one chance. Don't play poker, my girl. Mm. I want to believe him. Do you trust Harry? No. What I believe should have nothing to do with what you believe. Yeah, the answer is no. Deep down in your gut, do you trust him? Yeah. I do. Good. That makes one of us. Mm. Can I start you all with a glass of Jessup's world-famous spring water? Famous. That's odd. I always thought water was just water. I totally understand you thinking that since you've never had our water. Ooh. <laughs> Fine. I'll have a glass of ice water, please. Oh, we don't do ice water here. I think we're just going to need another couple of minutes. Hey, you look happy. It is nice to be somewhere that is untouched by human consumption and greed. <laughs> Not completely untouched. I've been camping here since I was a boy. Summer comes later. Less water in the streams. Wouldn't be surprised, but all dried up someday. As a tribe, we can do ceremony and give thanks, but if the change isn't happening globally, it's just not going to make a difference. These people seem to understand. Maybe there is no saving the humans. If we do not kill the humans, they will destroy the planet. Then they will die anyway. And every beautiful thing on this planet will die with them. Okay. Like, how could I drop a whole dress off at the dry cleaners and uh -oh. not even remember? Is she going to figure it out? weird, especially Live? for you. You have a flawless memory. You always remember everywhere I stash my weed. Uh-oh. I'm going to need to see some ID. That's a clever way to get my name. It's Elliot. I even got a Elliot. line here on work site. <laughs> work site? I got a degree in archaeology thinking I was going to be the indigenous Indiana Jones. So did you find the ark? Not yet. I don't give up very easily when I'm looking for something special. Hmm. Coming. Hmm. Uh, the Munsters are coming to town for the summer. Gerald and Bethany are here. It's my dad's birthday tomorrow. Ooh. I see uh, Darcy's parents. If you're there, maybe they'll have fun and not try to fix my ah, life. Of course. Live as a and buffer. It will be fun. But why are you still talking to me? Let me take you out to dinner tomorrow. I already have a dinner thing. If you're down for dessert, we can meet up after. Ooh. Oh. And um, be sure to be holding a single red rose so I can tell you apart from all the other <laughs> guys <laughs> waiting for a lady. That's good. It is so nice to have a fellow mayor visiting. Good to meet you, Ben. Mm. That is so that. nice of you. This water is from the 73 wildfire. You're angry about the ad. <sighs> Look, a little rivalry is good for the both of us. You'll understand in a few years when you've been a mayor for a little longer. We have the best water in the world, and you have 59 dead miners. It's... Mm. 
so tragic. The 59 is a story about sacrifice. <laughs> Sorry, Mrs. Mayor, but it doesn't play like sacrifice. It plays like the beginning of a horror movie. Am I right, Ben? I actually have a name. It's Kate. Oh, no disrespect. Oh, yes, you did. The 59 is a beautiful story about people who are willing to die to save each other. We're a town full of heroes. And if you can't see that, you're an idiot. He's probably a perfectly nice guy. Screw him. We're out of here. All right. <laughs> Not uh, liking camping. <laughs> What's he saying? Oh, the white, is that a white buffalo? Is he dreaming? Woo -hoo. All right. Is he communicating? Wow. Woo -hoo. 60 seconds. Uh oh. The pedals. Tell uh -oh. me it's a radio. It's a radio. Okay. That's a good Ooh, all right. <laughs> Reaching out and touching someone. Thank that you. someone is uh, Harry's uh, people. For saving all of us. You are welcome. <laughs> the signal will tell my people not to come and kill everyone. For 50 years. 50 years? After you are old and die. Then my people will come and they will kill the rest of the human uh -oh. race. That's not good. What? 50 years? You get to live and the planet gets to live. I'm a genius. No. You're an idiot. We <laughs> need to stop it. Oh. Come and save the bison. Ow, you're hurting. I'm sorry. No. Uh oh, there you go. Smash it. Transition Liar. failed. Last chance. Now you are going to die too. I guess you'll just have to figure something else out. I'm experiencing anger. That's anger? <laughs> That's you are going to be dead. <laughs> How do you still not get this? He's this missing the point entirely. Me. What about everyone that I care about? Darcy will be dead many years before you. We would have 50 years to figure this out. Now we will have 50 days if uh -oh. we are lucky. No, not we good. would have had 50 years for you to do nothing. Shit. It's Big Leroy. Hi, Leroy. Slow down. What happened? The cavalry's here. Hey. Harry's here. He's a dog. Labor. You're gonna be okay. I can do it. Mm. All right, Sonny. Look at me. Look at you, my baby. I love your confidence. You'll just wear anything, won't you? Oh, it's good to see overbearing you. Overbearing, Mom? Over overbearing Bed. parents? Happy birthday, Dad. It had the most iconic oh. friend line of all time. Mike on date. Welcome to prime time, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> God, he's on a date. I think pushing him is finally happening. Answer yourself a matchmaker. Well, that's good to know. Oh, Ooh, okay. Urging her to find a man. <laughs> the Helping head came in that, out, uh, but it area. Went back in. That is shoulder dystocia. Is that bad? I can fix it because I spent an entire weekend last month watching YouTube videos <laughs> on human birthing. That helps. No, Asta, let the doctor do his job. Asta, place your hand suprapubically over the fetal anterior shoulder, applying pressure in a CPR in a downward lateral motion. Be sure to like and subscribe. <laughs> I think this is going to be a pivotal moment for Harry. Well, um, perception is going to change. My species would never come together for a birth like this. And we never touch a newborn. When the egg sac bursts and the young emerge, the sulfuric ooze is toxic. Smudge that umbilical cord. <laughs> Wrap it in this uh, buckskin. We'll keep it in a cedar box. Put it in the house. We do this to moment. keep the kid from wandering too far. Or for too long. Hmm. <laughs> what brought you to Patience from D.C.? <laughs> you know what I'm... I want to know your story. So, um, you want to know why I moved here from D.C.? Mm -hmm. Okay. I was a cop, and I made a mistake, and my best friend died. Oh, yes, that so coffee. I, uh, that extra coffee. people who don't know how to leave well enough alone. <laughs> Uh-oh. You know, your mother and I were talking, and there's a lot of very interesting possibilities in Park City. Some really cute men, too. Very outdoorsy. They're pushing it. Like that. You know, that time on TV, she saw the that The expectations of a parent for their child. Spilling anything. Do you remember that? Yes. She's screaming inside. She wants to be anywhere but right there. Oh, 
you doing? Oh. Pulling the cloth. Unsuccessfully. Making a scene. Being a disappointment in their, in their parents' eyes. <laughs> Peace out. Give him the middle finger. Oh, there's the guy. With the red flower. Red rose. Yeah, it's not going in. Doesn't want to live the expectations in that guy's eyes. I've had a lot of babies since Jay was born. Do we? I'm never gonna be Jay's mom, but maybe someday I could at least be someone in the room. Do you remember in that glacier when you first found out who I was? <laughs> yeah. I told you not to feel guilty about giving Jay up for adoption because we send our offspring into the great ice wind desert i understand now why you feel guilty children generation to generation the earth's troubles are passed on finally has his eyes opened babies on my planet are self-sufficient and can survive on instinct and children learn everything from the humans around them without nurturing parents to guide them those children become lost mm. With nobody to turn to when they are in trouble. Is Asuka going to end up back with her, her ex? But I hope there not. Is still hope. When people experience a loss of time, their oh. friends tell them it's normal. I seriously not think deal. Liv is going to uh, end up often realizing that Harry is an alien. By what do you know about lighthouses, Ethan? I did a work study one summer. At a lighthouse off the coast of Portugal. They're symbols of guidance, of strength, of truth. That's what I am interested in. I have a lot of reverence for your kind. <laughs> Midwesterners? Ah, <laughs> Midwesterners. Show me your true form. Mm. You're looking at it. Mm. We evolve through pain. <laughs> what was that going to accomplish? Oh, yeah. Turn into an alien, which he isn't, actually. You're a doctor. Fix it. My bad. What is it? We just picked up a signal. Lines of encrypted code, but the signature is alien. Ah, shut it off! Shut it off! Oh, they're calling back! With the starfish in on the I moon. think. It's receiving a signal. In my language. Seriously? What does it say? It's a phone number. Phone oh, number? From New York City. New York? An alien in New York City? No. What else could be uh, hiding in plain sight in New York City? Aliens. <laughs> All right, episode number four of uh, Resident Alien, Radio Harry, and yeah, I'm leaving off um, with a bit of suspenseful cliffhanger in a sense, or literally, um, and with a signal bouncing back to Harry, and it's coming from New York, which uh, begs the question, who in New York is sending um, that signal, and uh, is it a fellow alien? Especially in New York, uh, all aliens are hiding in plain sight. If uh, if, any, if uh, Men in Black has taught me anything, anyone could be an uh, uh, alien in New York City. So, yeah, anything could happen. Um, but um, when it comes to the theme, theme of this episode, um, um, it's more of um, uh, a, a, more of a living up to expectations um, with different characters in this episode. Um, uh, first off with Darcy and um, living up to the expectations um, of um, not only of, uh, of her potential date or boyfriend, um, that uh, India, uh, indigenous archaeologist, but living up to the expectations that, um, that her parents want her to be. Um, and uh, unfortunately, um, her parents uh, were uh, overbearing in, for, for the most part in her uh, in Darcy's eyes and want her what's best for her but unfortunately um, what's best for her is um, not what she wants 
and um, it, it causes her to act out, and especially that restaurant where um, beforehand uh, they were sharing that story of how she was successfully um, uh, as a magician, I believe that uh, was one uh, what she wanted to be as, as a little girl, was able to um, rip that um, that tablecloth from the uh, from the table, and uh, and everything on top of it was intact, and um, and when she did it again, unfortunately, everything um, uh, was a mess. And beforehand, she was getting everybody's attention. She knew what she was doing, uh, being and not living up to the expectations her parents set forth. Um, and uh, she's a black sheep of the family, um, in, in her own eyes. And um, and and uh, she. Uh, she uh, embraced it in full effect, and when she saw the guy uh, holding a red rose um, waiting in that diner, um, she got all emotional knowing that in, in, in her own eyes, she, she won't be able to live up to expectations that, that the indigenous um, archaeologist, um, what, what she, uh, he saw in her. So, yeah, um, uh, uh, Darcy is dealing with a whole lot when it comes to um, her parents, uh, and then in turn, um, the expectations of um, of, uh, of um, what Harry um, uh, of the of, the, of Harry, but um, in, in regards to um, the kids, uh, Sahar and um, uh, and Max, and um, yeah, they believe that. Um, uh, he's lying when it comes to um, him uh, building a, a, bit, a radio to contact um, his people. It's in his mind, in their mind, it's a, a bomb. So their expectations are, are extremely low that he has, he's telling the truth, and that in turn, um, they the kids speak with Asta, and, uh, and then they and after speaking with Asta, they they uh, they plant that seed in, in which. They um and and they share with her that um it possibly isn't a bomb uh, but a, a, isn't a radio to be exact but another bomb that he's building so that's going to be um another thing that Oz has to deal with and with that the expectations of um Mayor Hawthorne uh, when it comes to um just basically uh going to uh uh, uh Jessup in order to um, see how the other side lives uh, on the behest of his wife, Kate. And um, unfortunately, he, all throughout that dinner, um, he wasn't having a good time and just nitpicking everything um, until he was able to um, uh, get his wife on his side after the mayor of Jessup just basically um, insults not only um, her husband, um, Kate's husband, but um, the mayor of, of Apaches, Colorado, but her as well by just calling her the mayor's wife instead of her by her name, Kate, and that was a big no-no on um, uh, Kate's um, uh, radar right there. And then, and then in turn, she just basically um, sided with her husband and just told them straight up, told the mayor straight up to his face that um, uh, they're proud of Apaches, Colorado, and their history. Whereas uh, Jessup um, is just um, all about water and proud of their water and all that, um, just only about their water apparently, um, and they're apparently straws, they're biodegradable straws with no turtles apparently, according to uh, the mayor of uh, Pace, Colorado. In any case, living up to the expectations when it comes to Asta for Harry, and um, Asta truly wants to believe. Uh, here is doing the right thing and building a radio instead of another bomb. And an advice from her father Dan is to trust her gut, and she does. And um, she gives she she gives him the rose the roses the rose petals or the flower petals to uh, activate the um, the radio, and it activates and sending the signal. But, but beforehand, um, uh, uh, Harry has a seemingly uh, um, uh, prophetic moment um, when he walks out into the woods uh, from uh, waking up and being annoyed by the bugs um, in, his, in his tent. And he um, comes face to face with a uh, what looked like a, um, 
uh, 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 buffalo, a white buffalo. Um, it's significant uh, to him, and 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 in turn, this would lead him to sending the signal, sending the signal to his people. And in that moment where um, Asta um, is relieved that uh, that uh, the, uh, the uh, his people will uh, be, as, will not come and um, destroy the earth, Harry reveals that um, they won't be back for 50, they, they will not come for uh, to destroy the earth uh, for fifty years. And Asta does not like that information. Uh, what she hears, and um, and she immediately goes to um, disrupt the signal and successfully does. Unfortunately, uh, uh, th this causes Harry to be angry or constipated, whatever that look on <laughs> uh, Harry's face was. Um, that doesn't look like anger, it looks like constipation. But yeah, and um, and it, and uh, Asta is pissed. And it, it leads her to try to open um, Harry's eyes to the bigger picture and not, and not realizing um, why she wants um, uh, uh, not to have the human race uh, destroyed, obliterated. And, and um, it leads to um, uh, us getting a phone message, a phone call from a big Leroy because little Leroy is coming. Um, his wife is in labor, and, and this is a pivotal, pivotal moment for Harry as he is uh, helping um, Asta, who refuses at one point for him to help in delivering the baby, but um, reluctantly does after uh, one of the um, the elderly um, indigenous um, uh, 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 elders um, tells him tells Asta to just help it, have him do it, and um, and. Uh, Thankfully and uh, fortunately, the baby is okay. Uh, he was able to be, uh, little Lily Roy was able to be uh, coming to this world um, without any complications, thus leading Harry to for a, epiphany to have his eyes open um, um, for real on uh, the, uh, the 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 level of expectations um, that um, that um, that Asta wanted. Um, him to realize that it's generation to generation leaving the uh, leaving the planet Earth for the next generation to um, to try to uh, to try to make better. Um, and unfortunately, uh, beforehand, Harry only saw what the uh, the bad in um, what the human race has been doing: littering, um, making crocs, or whatever the case may be. Um, and um, and uh, Basically, he's uh, set for a timetable of 50 years, but uh, and it didn't, uh, and he was able to finally have his eyes open, uh, judging by by the way he um, was talking with uh, um, Austin in the back of that truck, and then this leads to the the message that was received back. Um, like I said, the New York, uh, an alien, a possible alien, in New York has contact in the back. With a phone number, no less. So yeah, and then there's that uh, living up to the expectations. Oh yeah, living up to the expectations for uh, Sheriff Mike Thompson and um, and how um, that that his date pushed him to um, pushed him to reveal that his partner was killed by uh, by accident by him. And when I said honoring, I meant um, by mis that was meant by mistake. Um, uh, it was an anniversary um, uh, during that time where um, his father came and brought uh, coffee. So we now know why he uh, took a job at as at Patience, Colorado, as um, as uh, the sheriff of Patience, Colorado. So um, all in all, I thoroughly enjoyed this episode. I'm looking forward to episode number five. Um, uh, and judging by the promo, it's going to be a doozy. Um, and yeah, so if you enjoyed my reaction to um, the, this past this past four epi three episodes or four episodes, if, if you're reacting to this one, and last season, the first season of Resident Alien, um, go ahead if you enjoyed that or any of my content within my Intersective channel or YG Anime channel, and um, and link is right up there for you to check out. 
uh, support that channel as you're helping support this channel. Um, like I said, if you enjoyed either content for your channel, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, hit that notification bell in order to be notified of any future videos being posted on your channel. Like always, all my full-length reaction videos are posted either on Patreon and or Rumble. Um, uh, all full-length react, all full-length reaction videos. Um, you gotta sync up on your end, and then um, those both links along with my social media links will be posted underneath this video in the description section. And with that said, tip my hat to you. May the force be with you. Until next time for episode five of Resident Alien. All right, later.